Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids with my monthly look at Zinio. Now Zinio is a magazine reader, it's an application on the iPad 2. This is my device of choice but you can just as easily use Zinio to read publications on an Android device or indeed on a Mac or Windows based computer. Now with my magazine reading I normally buy sort of one-off issues and if I like the issue I maybe buy another one or another two. You can of course also subscribe which saves you a little bit of money uh, in this case quite a lot of money and probably the only magazine that I currently subscribe to is Mac User Magazine. That's because I'm a big Apple fan and I absolutely love this publication. Now you can see here I'm in the Zinio shop on my iPad 2. You can buy single issues for £2.99. It comes out every two weeks and you can get 25 issues, 25 issues for £29.99. That's a saving of 59% off the cover price. So it would normally cost you just over £74 it says here. £29.99 is a brilliant deal. Now I already subscribed to this so I'm going to go, oh I'm going to X that out, that was my search. I'm going to go into my read tab and this shows you all of the magazines that are available for me to download onto my device. You can see here I've got Stuff Magazine that's ready to download. The ones with the little arrows in are ones that I haven't read yet so I need to download those and have a read. The ones that are in sort of full brightness, this one here, this one here and this one here, I've already downloaded and let's have a look at Mac user and I'm going to go, I'm going to use these thumbnails and scroll across quickly and go all the way back across to the front cover. Now first of all the front cover of Mac user, they always do a fantastic job on the design of their front covers and to navigate through the magazine I can just scroll from left to right and when I get to something like the, co the uh, contents page I can actually sort of pinch to zoom and you can see certain bits are underscored in blue and that means I can actually click those and go direct to that particular article so for example here I've got the review section which always interests me data color spider 4 I can tap on that and it takes me straight to the review. Now this is a very well written review. I've actually got the Datacolor Spider 4 Pro in the Geekanoid Studio at the moment. So I'm going to be reviewing this soon. But it gives you some great product shots, great insight into how the device works. And of course the famous Mac user rating and details about the pros and cons of the device. So I really like the way that Mac user actually set out their reviews. They do an extremely good job. Now I can navigate the magazine a different way as well as well as just page by page I can tap on the screen and get these little tiny thumbnails down the bottom up and I can scroll through these and then perhaps pick, let's have a look, this one here and this gives me their review of the Olympus Pen EPM1 so I can read through this review and then I can tap again and scroll through these and pick another page to jump to. So very easy to navigate and just a great, great app for reading Mac User Magazine. Now there are also some extra icons up the top. Let me just talk you through these. So at the top here we've got a little X just here and that will take me back out of the magazine. I've also got a little grid here. I can tap on that and that brings up thumbnails of all of the pages in this format and I can tap perhaps on, let's have a look, let's tap on this one here and this is a great article about digital photos, well worth reading so do check that out in this current issue and there's another way I can navigate as well, I can tap this one here and this brings me up like a table of contents, uh, just text and the page numbers and the titles of the pages so I can look at maybe one of their features uh, the future of money, tap on that and it takes me to the page. I thought the page was blank there but this is part of their design style and then we get into the article good and proper. We've also got a little bookmark here so we can place bookmarks within the pages so we can easily get back to places we've marked within the magazine and it's really just a fantastic magazine. I'm going to go back to this view here and just pop back to the contents page. 
Now in this particular issue, this is February 3rd issue, we've got all of their regulars um, and that includes some really good articles about current news. We've got reviews of Data Color Spider 4, Olympus Pen EPM1, JBL Onbeat Extreme, Coral Aftershock Pro, Snap Hill and Scandrop. We've got the Apple Guide in the back, which is great. Let me just jump to the Apple Guide. I must show you this. This shows you all of the current lineup of Apple products. And in, in sort of the, the highlighted sections, it gives you just warnings about particular products. So for example, in this one about the iMac, it says the entry, entry level iMac can only take eight gigabytes of RAM. It also gives you details about whether you should buy or consider waiting. Um, if a product hasn't been updated for a while, then they give you a warning that maybe if you don't need to buy now, it's worth holding off. Or if it's just been updated, like the Mac Mini Lion server has, then it's sort of safe to go ahead and buy. So that's it for this look at Mac user. Uh, I absolutely love the publication. It is my favourite Apple publication. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.